What's up, everybody? It's your host, Kia Flo. I'm back. I'm a day late. Hopefully, I'm not a dollar short as long as you keep streaming. But I am a day late. And uh, I do apologize. I did record it yesterday, and my cameras did not do what they needed to do. Hopefully, if you see a video for this, then that means that on this day, they did what they needed to do. And also, I didn't, you know, put all of the effort into my appearance uh, yesterday as I did today. I do realize that that camera is going to show some some things so you want to try to look as presentable as possible people still gonna have something to say either way but you know at least you tried you know and that's what i did on here but you know it's enough about that because guess what this is episode one of season two wkflo rhythm release what well, the flow just don't stop. Y'all know here that we play nothing but the hits from the then and the now. I'm giving you those smooth groove tunes for you to listen to. <laughs> I came up with that off the fly and it was on the commercial. And now that I've heard it so much, it's embedded. So y'all gonna hear that a lot more. Anyway, I have a very great uh, show, a lot of great music lined up for you all on this episode, getting back into it, got six songs spanning the decades for you to listen to, and hopefully you enjoy it, Uh, what I don't want to be is long-winded, which is what I have a tendency to be, Uh, I want to just go ahead and get into it, because I have so much to share, and I'm just so happy to be back, so just, uh, you know, keep, keep following me, and also, I just have to say, You will be hearing this on Spotify only because of the music, but there is an option for those who either don't have Spotify or who have Spotify and just want to see the face behind the voice, you can go and subscribe to Flotainment, see it behind me, on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe, please, and look at my videos and like them. You'll see my progress. Uh, I also have some Instagram pages, one for WKFLO Rhythm Release, at, and that's on Instagram. Be sure to follow me there, as well as Flotainment on Instagram. And if you want to know more about the host, me, you can follow me, Kia Flo, on Instagram. But I want to get that out the way, let you all know that we are highlighting the fifth dimension on this episode. Yes, we are. Uh, shouts out to Summer of Soul, a documentary on Hulu. If you have not watched it, be sure to do so. But they have, you know, reignited the buzz of all of the artists, but especially for me, at least, was fifth dimension because I Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and get this episode started in 1965 for my brother Billy Stewart with his song, Sitting in the Park. Y'all tune in and listen up and come back. This is WKFLO Rhythm Release, where the flow just don't stop. Welcome back. Welcome back. Did you enjoy those two? Starting us off, we had Sitting in the Park by Mr. Billy Stewart. And that song you just heard was One Less Bell to Answer by The Fifth Dimension. Uh, That song was introduced to me in chorus. We were not sure where the teacher was going with that song but when she put it all together and had us sing that thing such a beautiful song and then um, a friend of mine brought me an album um, as a housewarming sort of gift and it was fifth dimension she brought me three of them and fifth dimension was one of them and my heart sank and so I decided to go and get the album that one less bell to answer was on 
and that is portrait and so y'all know many of you know i love to collect vinyl i don't know how far this collection or extensive my collection will get but i'm here for it uh shout out to lovely t oh yeah i did say that i wanted to give some youtubers some shout outs make sure y'all remind me when i come back but right now we're talking about fifth dimension but there are some youtubers that i definitely want to give a shout out to because watching them i have built the confidence to go out and create my own um work and uh yeah so you see this this is just so beautiful uh, see why it's titled portrait but a good album um, this uh, came out in 1970 and uh, yeah shout out to them so let's go ahead and read up on the fifth dimension so it says uh, the fifth dimension began life in Los Angeles in 1965 as the versatiles Lamont McLemore Ron Townsend and Billy Davis Jr. all grew up in St. Louis and moved to Los An Angeles independently of one another. Each was trained in a different area uh, that was either jazz, opera, and gospel R&B, respectively. Then Marilyn McCool was uh, brought on into the group as the first female uh, to join, and she was soon accompanied by Florence LaRue. Both were ex-beauty pageant winners who attended college in the Los Angeles area. Now, uh, Fifth Dimension went on to sell over 5 million copies between um, 1967 and 1968. And its parent album, more than 1 million copies during those years. Um, in 1968, uh, the group set a sensational record by winning five Grammy Awards. Best Song of the Year for Up, Up and Away, Best Vocal Group, Best Contemporary Album, Album of the Year, and Best Contemporary Group. One time. Um, the Fifth Dimension also, uh, at some point, became victims of their own success. In an extended Summer of Soul segment, Davis and Marilyn McCool, the group's most prominent female member, rewatched the footage and said, we were constantly being attacked because we weren't black enough. Maku says, sometimes we were called the black group with the white sound, and we didn't like that. Our voices sound the way they sound. How do you color a sound? I feel, I feel on that. And in 1975, McCoo and Davis, uh, who had married back in 1969, left the group to do collective and individual projects. The duo had success with Your Love and the chart topper, You Don't Have to Be a Star to Be on My Show. That's the song there. And that also won them their seventh Grammy Award. Uh, the original quintet reunited in 1990 and 1991 for a tour. Townsend left the group to try a solo career but soon returned. As the group resigned itself to the nostalgia circuit in 1965, excuse me, 1995, the quintet of LaRue, Townsend, McLemore, Battle and Greg Walker recorded a new album uh, in the house for Click Records. And also in 1998, Willie Williams replaced Townsend, who died in 2001 due to kidney failure. Um, so I was able to do some research and I find that, you know, Fifth Dimension is still alive and kicking with the exception of Mr. Townsend, rest in peace. <clears throat> That was the big guy of the group. Yes, but they are still, you know, up and around and they look amazing as ever. And I always uh, had a fondness for Miss Florence LaRue. So, like I said, make sure you check out that Summer of Soul on Hulu if you haven't. And go stream The Fifth Dimension. Um, learn up on them. Got some good music there. They, uh, they did what they needed to do. And I'm glad that they were able to get their accolades because of that. Um, so guess what? Guess what, y'all? <laughs> we're going to keep on going. Yes, we is. We're going to keep on going because we got some more songs to pay, play for you all. This next one that I'm about to play, we're going to 1981 mm -hmm, with uh, Miss Patty Austin and James Ingram. Rest in peace to Mr. Ingram uh, for their song, Baby Come to Me. 
Now, this is one of them songs that was playing on Time Life, and I used to love to hear that snippet. Uh, so I had to definitely make sure I got the full version when I was able to. So y'all tune in and listen up. This is WKFLO Rhythm Release, where the flow just don't stop. Welcome back. I like doing this because I, although I, I can't hear the music, I don't add the music until after the fact, but I just do this because I feel like I'm going to be, but I can hear it in my head. <laughs> anyway, like I said, welcome back to WKFLO Rhythm Release. I'm your host, Kia Flo, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed those songs, or at least that one song. Uh, Because we're going to get into the last three. But that was, uh, again, Baby Come To Me by Patty Austin and James Ingram. Came out in 1981. And I just wanted to make sure I showed that I had that vinyl. The vinyl that that song is on. And maybe on his album as well. And this was produced by Quincy Jones. But uh, she has a few hits on here. A few songs on here that I like. She has a beautiful, amazing, clear and crisp voice. So shout out Miss Patty Austin and shout out to all my vinyl lovers out there. Let's let's start something. I do have a green room. Uh, I don't know, you know, it's everybody is getting together now and talking and you know, we're being brought closer together with technology and there are so many different applications out there that allow you to do so. And one of those, which was created by Spotify, is called Green Room. And so I have created my Green Room. I have not done one yet. I wanted to at least get this episode out and uh, maybe if I can get about five of them out and we can uh, talk about them. But, you know, I need you all to find me there. It's Flotainment, at Flotainment for Green Room, I believe. Oh, you know, verify and put the information in this somewhere in this video. Uh, but yeah, so follow me there so we can talk more about the music that I'm playing. And I am ready to have those in-depth conversations about musical artists and all all of the stories, how songs came about, what happened in order for this song uh, to be such a success. Why did this artist not go as far as they should have? And, you know, so much more when it comes to music. Uh, many of you know I am a poet. But I also love me some music. That's that's to the core. So uh, just uh, make sure you follow me there. And uh, with that, uh, last season I was able to start, you know, giving a little bit of history on these artists, and I want to continue doing that. And I was running across a little roadblock. Um, I would say when doing it on the fly. I'll I'll say that Um, because I was just inspired to just push the episodes out and I look forward to doing it every day. And so I would just pull certain information from certain sites and those sites didn't always have a lot about black music. So I went and purchased the book. I talked about it and it's titled On This Day in Black Music History. And it's by Jay Warner and it's forwarded by uh, Mr. Quincy Jones. Again, we just heard of him again. <clears throat> but I'm just going to give a few because there's so much information in here that um, I probably could read off this book for a good little while mm-hmm, and still keep you all informed. But on this day, August 3rd, uh, in 1959, What I'd Say by Ray Charles was the number one r and song. And then born on August 3rd were bluesman Mercy D. Walton, who was born in 1915, and Beverly Lee of the Shirelles, she was born in 1941. And so those are a few notable things that happened on August 3rd. Uh, Then in 1946, 
Big Joe Turner jumped on the R&B hit list with My Girl's a Jockey, reaching number six. Turner appeared in the film Shake, Rattle, and Roll, having recorded and taken the number one R&B slot for the title song months before Bill Haley's rock version. And uh, it says in 1956, August 3rd, the Nutty Novelty Rubber Biscuit by The Chips was recorded at New York's Belton Studios. 23 years later, the Blues Brother had a top 40 hit with it. And then, uh, let's see, in 1959, the Shirelles charted, charted pop with dedicated to the one I love, only reaching number 83 with the Five Royales original. The group first heard the song while performing on a bill at Washington's Howard Theater, where the Five Royals sang it. It would go on to be reissued in 1961, reaching number three pop and number two R&B for the Shirelles. So, you know, one time for us, taking people's music and making our own and getting hit off of it whenever we can. You know what I'm saying? Because you know they do it to us, John. Anyway, we ain't going there. We ain't going there. Because we're going to get into this music. It's, it's some more music to get into. Hopefully you enjoyed that little bit of uh, history. I'll have more with each episode that we crank up out of here. So, you know, thank you for listening on that. You know, <laughs> you the real MVP? Yes, you is. Okay, so we're about to go into 1993. And uh, this is my girl, Miss Janet Jackson, with her song, Anytime, Place." I probably shouldn't have liked this song when it came out, but I did. Get I wasn't old enough. And if you had any bumbling going on, that's my husband. But it's okay. Um, so yeah, y'all listen to that uh, 1993 cut from Miss Janet Jackson herself, Anytime, Place," and come back. This is WKFLO Rhythm Release. But the flow just don't stop. Welcome back, everybody. How y'all doing? Y'all enjoyed those two? <laughs> Starting us off, we had Anytime, Any Place by Miss Janet Jackson. Came out in 1993, and then I took y'all to the early 2000s with Mr. Urban Mystic and his song, Best Part of the Day. Came out in 2009. Where were you in 2009? Where was I? Ooh, Lord. It was coming to an end. That's all I'm going to say. It was coming to an end. <laughs> what they say by nine? Nine is the number of completion and certain certain um, practices. Mm-hmm. I believe that. But uh, so hopefully you all enjoyed those. You know, we still playing those smooth groove tunes for you to listen to. And it's the Quiet Storm format, which was introduced by the late, great Melvin Lindsay. Make sure you go check out, I believe it's episode 10, where I uh, pay uh, homage to him on that episode, season one. So make sure you check that out. Um, he start, He started something that you know, even if it may not be as popular as it used to be, I don't know because I don't listen to the radio anymore. It definitely lives on in my spirit and I'm going to keep it going through this podcast as long as I can. You hear me? Oh, okay then. Um, but I also didn't get a chance to, I said, oh yeah, I said there was some YouTubers I was going to um, shout out. Um, I, I gave a shout out to Lovely T. She's been one of the first uh, YouTubers that I started watching when I got into actually watching content on YouTube. She was one of the first. So I uh, just want to give her a shout out. She might not even see this, but you know, that shout out to her. Uh, Bondi Blue, I love her. Uh, 
course, Funky Dineva. Uh, let's see. Uh, I did definitely want to give a shout out to Ashley Says So. Uh, I love her content. And there's another channel. I can't think of the name, but I'm going to put their picture right here. Put it right here. But that channel, as well as this channel. Mm hmm. Yeah, I love the content that they have and it inspired me. It inspired me in such a way. So just want to give them their flowers, let them know that, you know, they are making moves that are allowing us to make moves. Oh, also Dr. Nina Brown, she just helped me get my whole life together. Do you understand? But uh, I did want to do that. And also I wanted to just talk about my weekend I just had we about to you know close out the show and you know when I close out the show I just do my little spiel and uh we say good night but I did want to talk about my weekend I actually discovered my family last year in August my dad's dad side of the family I discovered I found them in August on Facebook and they had a family reunion this year in Mariana Florida and my husband and I went along my father stepmother and nieces and got a chance to meet the family and I'm telling you we ain't had a DNA test yet but I already I knew it I knew it before meeting them the person that I approached you couldn't have told me that man wasn't my granddaddy had the same name and all and come to find out he wasn't my granddaddy he's my dad's first cousin but because he told me i was barking up the wrong tree back in 2018 i kind of let it go but uh 2020 you know after you know a little suggestion from his son i was able to put the pieces together and we just had a great time out there just getting a chance to meet my family seeing where i come from what we have what we had and uh it answers a lot of questions for me because i don't think small i may execute small sometimes but i'm not thinking small i'm thinking big <laughs> and uh, I, I see why that's what I'll say so that was a beautiful experience if you were somebody out here that want to find your family you better start talking to your elders start talking to them aunties and uncles get that information from them before either one of us leave this earth we don't know who's going to go first but before either one of us leave this earth make sure you have that information and make sure you pass along that information because they're going to be kids that come up after you that are curious just because you are not concerned about where you come from does not mean that your child is not concerned baby i'm here to tell you right now i was wanting to know and i looked for my family for 10 years and i found them and so i feel great about that i was going to share that i'm a screaming to the mountaintop and I've already let them know hey y'all can't get rid of me now you know I'm gonna be on the family reunion committee and all but it was a beautiful thing and this is not the first time that I've discovered a family I also discovered my mother's father's side of the family actually uh, 10 years ago 11 years ago now um and the same thing it was the same thing and we're still in contact I haven't been to a family reunion in a while Did I, did I show out at the family reunion? Them folk ain't invite me back. No, I don't think it's that. But we have seen each other and we're following each other on social medias and phone numbers and such like that. So I still talk to that family. And um, I'm just, now I feel like I have all of the immediate puzzles. And now it's just time to put those other leaves on the tree. And I am ready to be that person. I might have a new profession as the family historian. You know, I might be that one. But anyway, listen, thank you all for listening to me. Hopefully you enjoyed the music that I played on this show. Make sure you stream those artists. Um, I don't know who is state in jeopardy. If you know, we could talk about it in the green room. Like we're not streaming on Auntie Anita Baker music. There may be some other artists out, up here that we are not streaming. And y'all just need to, you know, we can come together. Let me know. Or, you know. For me, it's all about the music. I, st I listen to Anita Baker. Now, I might not be streaming her, but I listen to my Anita Baker, you know. But, because you ain't going to stop that. But I was like, I digress. 
Listen, if y'all have any questions or concerns, be sure to email me at info at flowtainment.com as well as if you have any special dedications or song requests or you just want to send your girl some love and well wishes, make sure you email me at info at flowtainment.com and I'll send you the link so that you can record me a message and as soon as you send that thing off, I get a notification about it and I can attach it to the episode. I also am looking for more people to sing my jingle going with the flow you know that one Uh uh-huh i'm looking for more people to sing that so if you you know want to sing my little theme song that i'm still working on i i I got the melody i'm I'm just working on the beat i do a lot y'all i really do a lot pray for me but if you want to sing that jingle i Email info at flowtainment.com and I'll send you the link and I make sure I attach it right now. All I got is one plus myself. My mama supposed to be sending one in. We'll see. But um, other than that, you know, y'all have been a beautiful, you know, audience as always. Thank you for listening and tuning in and, you know, just come back and make sure you follow me on YouTube so you can see the video format for this podcast that you're listening to. All, all hearts, minds are clear. We are just going to go ahead and dismiss. I need for y'all to know. Y'all need to tune in and listen up. Be blessed and go with the flow. Closing us out, we got Mr. Xavier Omar with his song titled Change On Me, which I discovered on Spotify. It came out in 2017. Y'all listen to this track and come back next episode. Be blessed. I love you. Peace.